Hi guys and welcome back to the United Family and today I am doing England This is North Up Neighbour Scotland preview so it's the Euro 2020 match um, second match on the group stage um, versus Scotland and I pretty much think Scotland's dream of getting into Euro round of 16 is over because I mean last match they played against um, Czech Republic and they lost that match and this match they're playing against England um, so what I want and many England fans do is for England to win and they get a better chance I mean if England win this match they are automatically into the round of 16 so yeah if England win this match I mean Scotland have lost two matches and winning the last match against Croatia isn't going to do much difference because um, Czech Republic or uh, Croatia if they win the next two matches they're going to get qualified so um, I don't think there's going to be a chance for Scotland to go into the um, round of 16 but I'm curious to see what what is going to happen in this match so yeah let's get into the preview England and Scotland played was in 2017 and it was a draw so um, la so Scotland are a side that are strong and that can um, draw England but mostly I think England are going to win, uh, win this match um, pro predictions say that England might win 2-1 or something like that um, my prediction also is 2-1 so um, hoping they win for the starting lineup we've got Pickford in goal um, for left back we've got Luke Shaw because um, I mean last match he didn't play but he's a really good um, left back and when you've got a really good right back like Kieran Trippier and when you're playing him in left back and giving Kyle Walker a chance to play in the right back I think it doesn't make sense so Luke uh, Shaw would be my right back with Kieran Trippier being the left back um, so yeah, so uh, Luke Shaw is the left back, Kieran Trippier the right back. Um, like last match, John Stones and Tyrone Mings as the um, centre backs. And for um, a centre defence midfielder, uh, it's Declan Rice. Also, I've got Mason Mount and Calvin Phillips as the other two midfielders. For the attack, it's Harry Kane as a striker, um, Phil Foden as the right wing, and Raheem Sterling as the left wing. So. Um, probably Marcus Rashford is going to get substituted um, in somewhere like the 60th minute. And what the irony is here is that Luke Shaw and um, Rashford are Manchester United players and they're playing against their friends, their teammates at Manchester United, Scott McTominay, who's playing for um, Scotland. So, yeah, um, let's see what happens so the latest match england have played was against croatia in the euro 2020 first match of the group stage and we won uh, one nil because of raheem sterling's goal um so yeah um they have england have had good form they haven't lost actually in the last five matches so that gives you a know, good form for england uh scotland though they've lost a few matches here and there so yeah um looking at this they have the best chance but the beauty of football is you don't know when the game is going to turn. Like um, in 2002, I think, England were playing France and Frank Lampard scored a goal. So that was the first goal. And Zinedine Zidane um, scored in the 90, um, yeah, 90th minute, 92nd minute, somewhere around there in a free kick. And then two minutes later, he scored in a penalty. So they won 2-1. So that is the beauty of football. Uh, the game can change um, really quickly. Um, you don't know what's going to happen next so yeah thanks for watching my video guys uh, if you did like it um, please hit that like button subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you next time